She's the judge that made national headlines in the Ethan Couch trial. That's the case that the term influenza came up. And now changes in Judge Jean Boyd's courtroom. Well, today the media was kept out as she heard a case involving the murder of a teen. News H. Jim Douglas joins us live from Fort Worth with more on that story today, Jim. John, relatives of a young murder victim are angry that reporters and even an employee of the DA's office were kept out of Judge Gene Boyd's courtroom today. Victims' relatives believe controversy over Ethan Couch's probation is still sending shockwaves through the system. 17 year old Nicholas Anderson was robbed and beaten to death with a hammer by a 16 year old already on probation for arson. Yeah. This particular individual should have been tried as an adult. Simply Prosecutors agreed with the victim's family, but when they asked juvenile court judge Jean Boyd to certify the teen to stand trial as an adult, she closed her courtroom for the hearing. She said media coverage might affect jurors. The hearing came just days after Judge Boyd sparked outrage by sentencing 16-year-old Ethan Couch to probation for killing four people in a drunk driving crash. I felt that she shouldn't have had the right to close this one just because this was the next biggest case on her on her desk. Mm -hmm. Nicholas Anderson's relatives were angry and surprised again this morning when Judge Boyd once again closed her courtroom not only to reporters this time but also to the district attorney's own spokeswoman. This despite the fact that there was no jury trial. Anderson's killer pleaded guilty. We objected strongly to the closure of the courtroom for this proceeding. Prosecutor Brock Groom says he tried to keep it open. It's the policy of, of the Tarrant County District Attorney's Office that the courtrooms were open to the public. In fact, that is in the Texas Constitution. Groom couldn't talk specifically about the case, but Nicholas Anderson's family feared Judge Boyd would give his killer a light sentence based on her decision on Ethan Couch. This time, though, the defendant agreed to take a 26 year sentence. I was ecstatic that the DA was able to get them to agree to this because we didn't trust that the judge would give him the type of time that he needed or any time. Prosecutors concede judges can close juvenile court proceedings, but they say it's extremely rare and that they could file an appeal with a higher court if it continues to happen. Live in Fort Worth, Jim Douglas, Channel 8 News.